Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. What I'm going to do now is carry on and make these counterbalance weights for the crankshaft. So I've got to make four of these and four of these straps. The straps fit over the crankshaft. The bolts go through the weights and you have a counter bore there so the nut will be within that inch and a half radius so that it'll be machined filled then and machined so what I've got I've got this narrow strip which fits in that slot that I cut that'll be for the straps and then also for the weights I've got this flat here which I've already machined to the thickness of the cranks so they'll be cut out so before I cut them though I'm going to mark them more like drill all the holes and machine a little bit there their recess which will then fit over the crank and then the bolts will be through there so let's get on right so what I'm going to try and do I'm going to warm this up bend it over the top quickly clamp from there to the top and then bend it round the other corner so when I've clamped the top I'll quickly take this clamp off and bend it finish bending it let's see how it goes Now what I'll do is I'll clamp that there and bend down the other side. There we are. Good. Right, that's the four straps made. I'll cut these to length later on. Next thing I've got to do now is mark out for the weights. Right, as you can see, I've drilled for the bolts and counterboard them for the nuts. Now what I've got to do is machine the little slot that will fit onto the crankshaft. So I'll set that up in the milling machine now. Right, so I've got that set up in the milling machine ready to cut the slot to fit 
over the crank. Right, that's one slot done. I'll just do the other three. Right, that's the notches done. That'll fit on the cranks. Now I've got to cut them off to the angle. I'll just do that. Right, so this is the four counterweights drilled machine to fit onto the crank there. Cut to the angle. Next thing is to trim the straps to length there and then stick some studding on long enough. I'll just take that off long enough so when that is on there to go through the weight, put a nut on and tighten it up. Then when I've done that, I'll be mounting it in the divider head so that I can machine this part here to one and a half inch radius, the same as the top of these. Right, I've trimmed all my little straps. Next thing to do is cut some studding, weld them on to each side there long enough to go through the weight and long enough to get a nut on that side so we can do them up tight. So let's cut the studding and get them stuck on there. Right, that's the stud in, brazed on to the little straps. What I did, I used my MIG welder just to put a little tack at the back there, stopping the uh, stud and rolling around and that, and then I used my little torch and put a bit of brazing on there. That's both sides. Right, so we can now get the weights onto the cams. Right, so there we've got one weight bolted on with the straps. I turn it over. When I put it in the miller machine, it'll be machined to about that radius, inch and a half radius from the center of the crank there. So I'll just get all the other three bolted on. Right, that's the four counterbalance weights fitted on there. Now I'm going to mount it in the dividing head and then machine each weight to roughly that diameter, that radius, sorry. It's by inch and a half from the centre of the shaft to there. Right, let's get that set up then. And here we have the crankshaft fitted into the dividing head, ready to machine the radius on the counterbalance weights.
Right, <clears throat> that's one weight machine to the right diameter or radius. What I'm going to do now is take this out of here and cut the excess material off first because it took quite a while to machine that off. Right, that's the counterbalance weights all machine to the right radius. I'm very happy with that. What I've got to do now is just fill those holes up. I'll do that with a little bit of liquid metal, I think. Right, that's the crankshaft finished. I'm very happy how that went. It's quite a bit of work in the little thing. So now everything on the back end, all the gears are made. Crankshaft, second shaft, third shaft down to the main drive down there behind the wheel. Right, so now all the parts are made for this back end here. All the shafts and the gears. I can now start machining the bits that I've got to fit onto the boiler. I'm going to start off with a manifold. This little thing here. This has got to be faced up. On this face there will be three holes. One will be for a steam outlet which will go to a pump of some kind. The two other holes will be drilled and tapped here. In this little knob there, there will be a little steam outlet which will go to the pressure gauge which I'll have to put another hole in the rear spectacle plate. Two fixing bolts here and a hole straight up through the middle to allow the steam to come out of the boiler. That's the piece I'm going to start next. So please subscribe to my channel and join me as I build a 2 inch scale Fowler Showman's Traction Engine.